In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can develop scripts in Unity and also associate these with objects and how we can actually manage the scripts within the Unity environment. So let's get underway. Now, there's several ways we can create a script. One of the first ones are to right mouse click and just go to create and a C sharp script. So let's do that. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this one first script. Now you notice that I'm using a camel case or lower camel case where the first word starts with all lowercase and then a capital for every new word. So that creates our first script. Now we can edit this script by setting up our code editor. If you haven't done so yet, click on Unity and Preferences, select External Tools, and up in this pull down area here, you can actually select or browse for the application that you would like to edit in. I recommend on a Mac using Visual Studio for Mac. This replaced Mono Developer and is a very good editing environment for Unity C Sharp script. So I'm going to select that and then just close the window. Otherwise, when you double click this file, it may open in another text editor or things like Dreamweaver. So this ensures that it opens in a good C sharp editor. To open the script, we're just going to double click it. Your editor will open and you'll be able to see all the files associated with your program on the left hand side here. And what we want to do is add in a debug and we'll also log that and we'll send a message out and I'm just going to put my web address and make sure on the end of it that you have a semicolon. If you want to check that your code is working correctly before you go back to Unity, click on the little playhead up here. You notice it says build successful and there's no errors. This way you can eliminate any errors before you go and associate it with an object and find out then your program's not working. Once that's been checked, I can save it and go back to Unity. You may have this message, just enable the debugging for the session. Now, once I'm here, I'm gonna place an object on the screen. So I'm gonna go up to my sample scene, right mouse click, create a 3G object, and it's gonna be a cube. I'm gonna give the cube some size, so I'm just gonna go five, five, and five. If your layout does not look like mine, you can always go up to Window, go to Layouts, and revert to Factory Settings. Then you can click on Continue. For some people to have a layout that they're used to, if you're learning, pick a layout and start your development in that. And as you get more confident, you can then shift to other layouts that enable your workflow to improve. Now, once I have my code here, I can associate it with the cube. To do that, first of all, select the cube. You'll see that it's in my inspector. I can then head down to this menu here, right at the bottom said add component. There are two ways of doing it. If I scroll to the bottom, I can add a script. This will give me all existing scripts. So in this case here, I've got first script and I can add that to my project. You can now see that the first script has been added. If I'd like to remove this, I can click on the three dots and go remove component. Another way I can add this script is just to drag the script across and let it go. And it will add. Once again, I can remove it the same way. Another way is dropping it directly onto the object. You can see that it's added. And the last way you can add script is to come up the top here and drop it to the hierarchy. And you can see now it's been added there as well. If you know what the script is going to be, you can always go add component to the object while the object selected, go to the bottom and go new script. And in here, you can actually give it a name. So this might be second script and go create. You'll notice that it's created the new file there and also added it to my inspector here. When I go back to my Visual Studio environment, 
You'll also notice in the menu now, the second script has appeared. I can double click and open those. At any time I can close these little tabs and get back to my code by just double clicking them. It is really important that the file name also meets the class name. If these two things are different, you need to change your class name to update the file name. In Unity, I can actually change this file name to anything I want. So I could change this to Earl Marsden. The file still works, but when I go to use the program, you'll notice that in the console, there's an error and we need to go fix that error. So how do we find the error? So when we head back in here, you can see there's an update. I double click this. You can see that the file name has changed, but the actual public class hasn't. And this needs to be changed to be the same. So make sure if you update or rename a file, you also update and rename the actual class name as well. Now the last thing I want to show you is that you can right mouse click create in a folder. You can call it scripts. If the folder is empty, you'll see that it's an empty folder. If I add my scripts to those, you can see that it's now changed to a solid folder. If we add another object, like a sphere, when we move down and add component, and we select scripts, we can still see the two scripts even though they're within a folder that we've created. So this will help you manage your scripts a lot easier. Remember that any error within your script will cascade through your project. So you need to make sure there are no errors in your project before you run it. If needed, rend them out if you want to go on to another section of your code, which means if there is a error in the line and you can't work it out, but you want to go work on something different, just make sure you comment it out. That way it won't cascade through your project. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Unity tutorials. And I wish you all the best in Unity development.